Is Mortal Kombat 1 worth it? Today I'm going over all the pros, the cons, the good, the bad, the ugly to help you decide should you be getting Mortal Kombat 1 and again, is it actually worth it? Subscribe here for more fighting game content and let's jump right into it. Take it one step at a time. So the first thing that I want to bring up, it's a good point when talking about a fighting game, is Mortal Kombat 1 has a really good story mode. It's an amazing cinematic story that takes about six to eight hours to actually beat. It's got good replayability because at the end you can choose what character you want to end with. Just give you some good hours to actually play a story. I mean, let's be honest, Mortal Kombat's actually known for their stories since MK9, MKX, and so on. And now this new story is taking a whole different turn with, you know, Liu Kang being the keeper of time, basically the new god of this universe. To see that play out, see all these fan favorite characters characters and their new stories is just really cool. Not only that, but if you want to play offline, you have the story mode and now you have the new invasions where you can see here we have different mesas we can go to. And while you're in the mesa, this is just a fun way to explore, have, you know, super unique fights here. You can fight off towers that have modifiers. It's got RPG elements where you can choose your character and your camera. You can give your character stats as well, health, attack, special attack, defense, agility. You can give them resistances. You can have equipped relics that do different things. This is where you can level up your character in a really fun way to, you know, unlock their brutalities, their cosmetics, you find secret chests, you can unlock other cosmetics for other characters. Just a great way to kind of step away from the online fights, you know, getting super sweaty and all that, and just chillax and play a nice offline game mode. This is where I personally go if I am learning a new character, kind of want to see how they would play out in a fight. I just go to invasions, play around for a little bit and kind of see how that character feels actually fighting with them, and just to enjoy the invasions game mode. If you are an online person, of course, Mortal Kombat has their online options with Combat League ranked, we have casual sets, we have King of the Hill, you got private matches, and they're just adding new online features all the dang time. So I just expect this feature just to get better and better. When it comes to customization, you can customize your character to a pretty good depth. Most characters, like you see here for Scorpion, we have multiple skins per character. So right here, we have three skins, and all those skins have different color palettes. So we can change the color of said skins. You can randomize between your favorites, so they change every single fight, which I love. And of course, every character has a different gear piece you can customize. Some are a bit more prominent, of course, like Scorpion's face gear here. You're gonna notice that a lot more in the actual fight. So if we change the masks here, not only will you notice it a bit more, but of course your opponents will as well. Whereas some characters gear pieces aren't as prominent like Shang Tsung's Wolverine claws here. They're cool, but you're not really gonna notice a massive difference in this gear piece in an online fight because it's just so fast paced. You're not really seeing this change a lot. Same with others like Garrus's like chest piece here. Like it's super cool, but it's not super noticeable you're gonna more or less notice the actual skins and the color palettes for those skins. And you can't go crazy on the customization when it comes to your cameos, but you can customize them and I love that. So if you have a favorite cameo, like let's go ahead and say it's Scorpion is a cameo, you can just change the color palette of your favorite cameo and just adds that extra layer of customization to your favorite characters, including your cameos. Speaking of cameos, cameos are the biggest new feature they've added to the Mortal Kombat franchise. And I personally believe that Mortal Kombat 1 will go down in history as the Mortal Kombat that had cameo fighters. They're just the newest way to change things up a little bit because every cameo is different you know they offer different utility different support things that might help your character out more than they help other characters out a lot of them of course offer combo extension so if you want to get good ground combo extension you might be using serena for that reason just to extend your combos on the ground but she also has a great utility where she actually drains your opponent's bars here so that way they can't enhance their moves, they can't use their breaker. As you can see right there, if they stay in that circle, you get a whole bar almost of drainage. Really cool to shut down your opponent's bar usage. Sector also offers combo extension as well. Not only that, but he also offers a re-stance move. What I mean by that is normally your opponent's knocked down and then they have the option to do a wake-up attack on you, kind of do a reversal if they can. But Sector says, no, you're going to be re-standed and now your wake-up option is completely negated and that can be very useful in certain situations. Many cameos offer that. Kano does it. Frost, of course, has a good low freezing move for combo extension. And it is a low, so it's good for mix-up. She has a freezing ball that slowly moves. It's really good for pressure. Frost has the low. Scorpion has an overhead, so you can go for the mix up there, a low and an overhead, get a combo extension there. If you're in a pickle, Scorpion offers a full screen armored reset move, giving you that space you might want as a character. You get the idea. There are a lot of cameras that offer multiple different things that are just huge per your gameplay style or to counter your opponent. So if you don't like that your opponent's completely zoning you out, switch cameos, change the Sub-Zero as a cameo, that way you can get the armor here. And this makes you projectile and vulnerable. So that way you're not worried about getting zoned out no more. And then you can rush your opponent without the fear of being zoned out. 
So you got some good counter picks using any cameo that you want to. Cameos are big, and I think that is the new identity of Mortal Kombat 1. That is how Mortal Kombat is going to be remembered, in my opinion. They're kind of the skeleton of Mortal Kombat 1. You take away cameos, you no longer have Mortal Kombat 1. You know what I'm saying? I love them, but you're going to find a lot of controversy online with cameos. Some hate them, some love them. I'm on the love boat, but now let's get down to the real meat of this whole, you know, is it worth it? That is the actual gameplay of the game itself. And Mortal Kombat 1 is a really fast paced kind of game. You can do really long combos. I don't have time to show you all of them, but just trust me, you can do some really crazy stuff here. The gameplay is very fast. You can do a lot of cool, crazy combos and a lot of cool mix ups using your cameos and more. And then you have defensive options. You can actually flaw this block. You can up block where I explain that in the video here. And of course, breaker is back allowing you to get out of combos if you have all three bars like so. Fatal Blows are also, of course, back, and they are really cool for you to utilize your cameo and your character in the Fatal Blow. Fatal Blows are, again, tied to your health, kind of like they were in Mortal Kombat 11, where you only get access to be able to use it once you're below that 30% of health mark. If you use it, you lose it, and if they block it, you do get it back after a few seconds. So that mechanic and feature is also back. And of course, it wouldn't be Mortal Kombat without sick and gruesome fatalities, obviously. And of course, brutalities are back as well. Just a really cool way to end the match. No. No. Ah. I am the calm before the storm. Brutality. And throughout the lifespan of Mortal Kombat 1, I'm sure they'll bring other finishers back to the game, like maybe animalities, babalities, mercies, friendships, whatever. In fact, by the time you're watching this, it might already have a couple of those. Not only can you watch all of my videos for guides and tutorials on how to get better at Mortal Kombat 1, but they have their own in-game tutorials and stuff like that. You can go and learn the basics, offense, defense, frame data, other combos, how to put pressure on, the best positioning, stuff like that, and even character challenges where they give you combo challenges per character. It's really learn what can my character do what routes can i go down stuff like that the mortal kombat one has done a really good job at helping you get a good footing on the game the basics the character you of course can go into training mode yourself and just lab your heart out you know practice combos and stuff like that you can practice with different cameos you can change your cameo on the fly in the practice settings here doing stuff like this again just gives you a really good idea of kind of what direction of gameplay style your character wants to be in and it helps you find your main character or other characters you might enjoy just labbing out characters i found that i really enjoy garris lee may sindel and i'm personally not a big fan of you know havoc's gameplay general shao's gameplay they're awesome characters of course they just don't fit me mortal kombat 1 is absolutely known for their dlc characters whether it be guest characters or returning mortal kombat characters as of right now we've got an omni man in the game we got returning fan favorite quan chi and we're also getting of course homelander ermac takeda and then any other characters they might bring in the future with combat pack 2 or 3 speaking of dlc they're going to be doing you know story expansion, maybe adding new game modes, new stages, new stuff for invasions. A ton of stuff is coming. They've said they want to give Mortal Kombat 1 one of the longest lifespans of all their games. You can expect a ton of content just always coming. So is Mortal Kombat 1 worth it? You might consider some of the things we've gotten so far, some game modes and characters and whatever, a little bit bare bone style, but as we're just going to continue to get more and more support, more and more content for the game, it's got a great story with more expansions coming, fun offline options, great online option, new gameplay mechanics with the cameo system, the replayability with all those cameos. You can train your heart out or getting fun DLC and so much more. Personally, I think Mortal Kombat 1 is absolutely worth it. If I were you, I would get it not only for what it is right now, but of course for what we're going to be getting in the future with all the support and new content. Mortal Kombat 1 is an amazing new iteration to the Mortal Kombat franchise and I believe it's just going to get better and better with time. Absolutely worth it. Go pick it up. Let me know what your thoughts are on Mortal Kombat 1 but keep it civil down there. If you found this video informative and helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe here for more fighting game content. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take it one step at a time.